east of Hobart, the Tasman Peninsula is rightly famous for the breathtaking scenery it offers its many hikers. Christy headed down for her share of the splendour. This shore is a special place. You can almost taste that crisp, clean air. But this is southeast Tasmania, and the elements aren't to be trifled with. To do this walk safely, you need the right kit. One Taruna couple thinks the answer lies in locally made, Australian grown, super fine merino wool. Nicola and Carl Mason. Chak, chak, chicky, chicky, chak, chak, boom, chak, 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 boom, boom. Chak, my name is Nicola Mason, and I run Smitten Merino with my husband Carl. We moved from Perth to Tasmania in the year 2000. When Carl and I lived in Perth, we were renovating houses and we'd sell them. We decided to just pack up and move, which was bold. We didn't have jobs, we didn't have anything to come to over in Tasmania, but we had just decided we wanted to do the sea change, tree change thing. And we just said, yeah, what have we got to lose? Let's do it. I'm the designer and Carl is the marketing and accounts man. And then our daughter Holly is a social media whiz and she is the face of Smith Marino. Knowing their clothing range was partly inspired by trekking through this region's spectacular wilderness. Carl suggested I meet him and his daughter Holly out here on their weekend Hello. walk to get a taste of where it all began. What a backyard you guys have. We're pretty lucky. It's pretty exceptional. It's gorgeous. <laughs> yeah. And I hear you're a bit of an adventure sports enthusiast, Carl. Absolutely. That's why I live here 20 years. Um, this place is unbeatable. Oh, it's pretty magic, yeah. Tell me what you thought, though, about what are we going to do for a living down here? Looking around, going, where's the work? What will we do here for a job? You're right, and we didn't think about that initially, but our finances dwindled down badly, and we had three children. And Nick and I were brainstorming, and we went and had a little meeting together in a coffee shop, and so we wrote down some things that we wanted to create a new business that was sort of good for Tasmania and good for us. And I was dressed in New Zealand merino wool thermals, because that is the product for adventuring in. And Nicola started talking about how she'd like to make a fashion range. And then all of a sudden, I just well, thought, forget cotton, if I could get this wool, how about a fashion range out of wool? And that's how we started here. Tell me about mum though, she's probably back working, I take well, it. Well, someone has to. Ah. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, can I meet her? I think I need to uh, meet this yes, superwoman. Yes, we'd love you and she'd love to meet you as well. Oh, so. fab. Yeah. I had taught myself a lot about design. I'd studied art and design at school and a little bit at uni. <laughs> Carl and I basically knew nothing about manufacturing clothes and we had to learn a lot and we had to learn it fast. So this is where the magic happens? This, this is, is where I hope the magic happens. <laughs> exactly. It's certainly the design kind of hub and, yeah, yeah this is my chaos, I suppose. <laughs> While Nicola's design started with adventure wear, she's now more focused yeah, yeah. on women's fashion. I need lots of inspiration, so mm. there's always fabrics and colours and textures and, you know, and pieces of fabric to feel and imagine. Was designing something you always wanted to do? Always. Always. Well, I made my own clothes kind of through school. And then with, yeah, with two little girls, I was really lucky, made lots of bits and pieces for them. Um, and then had always thought one day, you know, I'd kind of maybe make my own stuff, but never kind of pictured, yeah, where it would go. And so it's been really thrilling. So is it what you thought it would be? I mean, you, you had this big dream. Did, you, did it live up to that dream? It exceeded our dreams. It really has. <laughs> The Smitten business started out with a party plan model selling to friends. Disaster. To slowly stocking in different specialty stores, setting up stores on the country show circuit and then securing a spot at the Salamanca markets. Where they're still regulars, along with opening their own inner city boutique five years ago. Now online is taking over. Nicola, was it hard in the beginning when you first started the business? Oh, yes. <laughs> I would say it was really hard. I was doing another couple of jobs part-time and three kids, three jobs, and I did struggle sometimes. Did you ever, though, face doubt or, or people that thought your dream wasn't true? A lot of people had said to us, you definitely won't be able to get manufacture in Australia, let alone Tasmania. Well, they were wrong. Nicola and Carl were determined to produce their clothing in Tasmania. Eventually, they found a sewing house 300 kilometres north 
in Sprayton. This team of talented pattern makers, cutters and sewers work closely with Nicola and Carl to turn Nicola's sketches into ready-to-wear collections. The people in Sprayton were the ones who said they'd give us a go and of course we were irritating. We were small, um, we were tiny little orders but they just, they just stuck with us. And so they've been working with us now for, you know, coming up for 14 years and they've been amazing. So that's got the fan dress with um, pockets and, and slightly smaller skirt. Yeah, what I've done is I've just reduced the flare on the skirt section so that the skirt will fit across the fabric. So the flare is now the same on a size 8 through to a size 16. I mean, there's almost no wastage on that fabric whatsoever. No, that's a really good lay, that one. Yeah. So. Thank you, that's terrific. In a world where price seems to dictate most things, Nicola and Carl's ongoing commitment to local production is brave and smart. Nil. People want local. We're Australian made, we're Tasmanian made, and that set us apart from the very beginning. My advice to someone leaving a big city and moving to the country would be dream big and just follow through. I think it's always worth it.